Welcome back guys, and we're here with my Naya Tokens deck this time. I actually, this is actually my deck that's been a week with it, and if I remember correctly, it's running the week too confident. But uh, it surprised me. And this hand is a 5 lander, nope. This hand's a 2 lander, so I've got Raise the Alarm, but then not really much going on. I'll go one more. And no red, okay this is bad. Well, this this is this is the best one yet, actually. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not too upset. Just I'm not, I'm not gonna keep a hand where you, you raise the alarm and hope you're drawn to something else. I'd rather have this hand where at least I can play a tender knight and ramp. And that's a cloud twin raptor, which is a scary card. But yeah, I think this. I if I remember correctly, this deck I didn't really think it, but then I ended up just winning a lot, which is always a good sign. So the very worst here, I mean, we get up to five mana and then we we have to chance this hand with a four. That's not that's not terrible, <laughs> but then again we are drawing into stuff. And if it's not land, then we don't have to. Yeah, so I I, I worded that badly, but he didn't attack, which means he doesn't have a creature. That's a great hoop, so we've got a game plan. Yeah, we didn't miss a land draw this turn, so we'll, we'll attend at night first. Plus we can put pressure on. I highly doubt he wants to bounce it. He could have nullified, I guess. Which actually would have been pretty terrible. <laughs> if, he, if he takes out the cult of it as well, that's going to be even worse. But, I don't know, any deck with Cloud from the Raptor generally doesn't have counter spells. Or many of them. Because he knows it's going to be running the, t the military intelligence and stuff like that. But this guy is apparently yeah, running and no creatures and he's stuck on two lands. There's a Dublin season, so we, we play that before we put the Genesis Hydra now. I, if that worked with Genesis Hydra's ability, the whole uh, cast with if it was like equal to the number plus one plus one counters, I, I would I would literally have Genesis Hydra in every single deck and Dublin season just because that would be hilarious. Uh, we're gonna get a green and a white, I think, and then we are going to throw. This guy has to have a play now. Void Snai, please put it on the token, yeah okay he's put it on the token, so this guy sort of knows what he's doing, he's just got unlucky, fair enough. Uh, so we, we've got all our mana sources now, we could use another red actually, but we need, but we, we didn't know we were going to draw that planes. But, uh, put down Dublin Season and then uh, Genesis Hydra, that's the plan. This is kind of a nice warm-up for the tech, though. Being able to... I mean, this guy, he's, he's kind of screwed. He's stuck on two mana. I'm already on, I think, six, is it now? And he's gone, yeah. I don't blame him. That's really unfortunate by him. If that's the case, though, I am just going to take my time here and get a really big Genesis Hydra off. Try and find, like, a Michael off. We need red, and we'll get another green. Hell, we could even create who next turn. <laughs> Just for. That would be. What would it be? Four. That would be 11. And he could block, yes. Yeah, so we wouldn't be able to kill him, so no, we're not gonna. We're not gonna create who next turn. <laughs> but uh, I sense a hoof in this game, unless this guy decides to run nullify. And he's. I mean, what's he got in his hand at this point if it's not Lance? Because <laughs> he's not dropped a military intelligence. He's not dropped a short. I don't know. Times like this, you wish you had Brain Maggot. But uh, now it's time to. Chance to side it. But playing a first main just in case we find a battle driver or something. I don't even know if we won battle driver, but you never know we could find it. Oh yeah, we've, we've set up the hoof right quite nicely for this next. <laughs> for this next. Oh, you. Well, actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Still got, still got the six tokens. But we, we burned out one nullify, better not have it for the, the crit hoof, that's all I'm saying. Either way, I think he's dead anyway. <laughs> this, I, I felt this hand would have stood a chance. I think I was right with the mulligans. Because, I mean, I could have, in theory, just had nothing going on. And he, he finally found a thing twice. Doesn't find the land, though. That's pretty terrible. This guy must run a very low amount and rely on card draw. Which can backfire in situations like this. Okay, that's... 
I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, so we can't play both, unfortunately. But that just means a hoofing. <laughs> How much damage is this? Uh, 11 times a million. I don't know. 66, 78, 88, 92, 103, I believe. Off the top of my head there, just while it was resolving. Which is which is all right. That's that's pretty standard. I think I think the opponent, if he'd uh, managed to block better or something, he might have stood a chance. But you know, can't blame bad can't blame bad players. <laughs> yeah, Crit Hoover is a great card. I was it's, it's one of them cards. I was kind of hesitant about them adding, just because you know tokens was already pretty powerful. The whole like white like white tokens stuff like that. And I thought, well, people now can like abuse graveyard and stuff with seance and spite. Well, spider spawn was my main, my, my main concern, just because that was that was really coming back then when Crow came out. Like pretty much every deck you came into had the whole it was uh, Golgari, and I was really scared that you know people would just abuse like rescue from the underworld and seance and stuff like that. But uh, in the end, they didn't. This hand, I've got Krenkos. But not until turn six. Oh. Where's all my early stuff? There we go. No red, but I mean I've got players. <laughs> got cloud shift as well, so I can surprise blocker like I don't know, rabble master or something. Jungle shrine. So this guy's not the fastest deck. I, mean, I just don't like hands where you have you create two tokens and then sit around hoping you draw it or something. That was a pretty good draw. <laughs> another red and another white source. Now we just need another green and we, we've got Michael off to go for. With Cloud Shift. That would be pretty nice. Wish it was a God's Will in this situation, but, you know, it's like, like I run two of each, I remember, just because. Y y sometimes, like, you want you want your... I wish I'd drawn that last turn. You want your God's Will for, like, Michael off and you want your Cloud Shift for, like, Captain of the Watch. And, like, a Tender Knight and stuff. So, I mean, it's just... it's. They're both different in each situation, so I just kind of run half of each and hope I draw the right one. But this guy seems to be five colours at. He's played every single source, but you can't tell with the tri lands. There's a cultivate, so we can we can ramp into this Michael. You could have you could have plenty of removal at hand though. We haven't seen anything from his deck yet. So I think I'm not actually going to I think I'm going to play the Attendant Knight, and then uh, he kind of has to have a response. Got 6 damage coming out of a turn. I can Cloud Shift to make that 7, but I'm not going to do it unless he points a bit of removal at it. I guess we find out we really need to play here, though. <laughs> Otherwise, he's in trouble. Uh, Anger the Gods, that's a play. Fair enough. That's that's sad, but we've got, we can still recover from it. It's not game over at this point. I say with a tear in my eye. No, we can, <laughs> we can get a green source, and what do we need? We've got one green. We need three green. But we also, we've all, well, it doesn't really matter. We've got Gwil Gilly get there. So we get this untapped land. So we'll get a green and a red. And we'll play this so we can raise the land this turn. I did that right. Actually, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm actually in shock. Uh, so, I mean, he can't really... He's going to drop a bomb here. Probably Bane Slayer, and then we'll, it's game over. Well, we didn't see Bane Slayer, but... <laughs> I mean, do we Michael off this turn? We, we could Michael off and protect it. With Cloud Shift, but then we... So... Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to eat both tokens because if he has removal, I know it's, I know it's missing stupid. But if he has removal, then I can cloud shift and eat the other token. Well, if I, I put all my eggs in one basket, and I'm, I mean, I've already seen Anger of the Gods, I'm going to assume he's got, you know, Angelic Edicts, Flesh, well, he's, I would have used Flesh to Dust, but other stuff like that. I mean, there's plenty of removal he could have. Tribute to Hunger would have been another bad trap to fall into. Angelic Edict, yep. 
So I'm I'm officially amazing at this game. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to get a whole two to do we get two tokens? I think we do. Yeah, we do. We get equal to the number of counters. So flesh of dust now does I mean tribute of hunger now doesn't work. Fortunately, we drew lands. What he saying? Mana, mana, mana. Well, to be fair, to, if he's complaining about mana, I mean he might be talking to me, but I'm I'm complaining about mana as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna play this just so we draw Crate Hoof. And then that's probably gonna be the last land we, we play. We're flooding out quite badly as well if he's complaining about mana. Uh, Angelic Edict, he's found the second one. But we got our two tokens from it. And we it did a two removal spells, so <laughs> I consider that a decent trade. Uh, Beastmasters. I don't like playing it, and he's already showed. But he's already shown two angelic edicts. I highly doubt he's got much more. Plus, it's better than just doing nothing. We have no guarantee of drawing into anything, so we are going to play it out. I don't like playing it out unless I've got seven creatures on the field. But I mean, we've already burnt three removal spells on this guy, and he's complaining about mana. So that says to me that uh, he might be running dryish. Hopefully, I mean, we've already come down to eight, so it really doesn't matter. We could Angel Kedek to our own <laughs> Beastmasters. I mean, so that, that's pretty much the only enchantment removal you're going to see. There's another Anger of the Gods. I don't really know what this guy's complaining about. <laughs> he's playing a token deck and he's uh, he's found two Anger of the Gods in the top 15 cards. So. Well, just keep replacing the tokens. And pass turn. And there's, there's lots of stuff we could draw. We actually run quite a heavy tokens deck. On the on the on the heavy side, you know, with the Michael Earth. Treasure Divine, he's gonna get angry with the guards and burn me out again. Yep. <laughs> That's three anger the cards. <laughs> Fortunately Crow Hoof doesn't kill him. Uh even if just with the haste and that's ridiculous, okay. I think we do run 24 lands because we are a heavier deck. But even still, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 in the top 20. It's not where you want to be. And there's a chance we could devil. Let's get an Angelic Edict. He's probably got his own bounce spell. But uh, at least he gives us something to do this turn. <laughs> well, there's Bainslayer. But that thing's a priority target. And we got it. Well, we hit Bane Slayer. We got that. He's got that to look forward to next turn. Oh, he's probably got the other one. <laughs> With all the spells he's cast, I do not want him to recycle on that. There's a my cloth, but we don't have any tokens at the minute, so we're just going to leave that. I don't really feel like devouring a Bane Slayer right now. <laughs> If we can get, I'd like to get one more hit in just because then, uh, Crow Hoof is an instant kill with haste. Bane fire, okay. I think he is flooding out, but then to be honest, we're both we're both flooding out, so he's got he's got nothing to complain about here, really. He has found quite a bit of remove. I, I don't think he's had bad draws. It's not like he's done absolutely nothing. Storm breath dragon, that's haste. Can we kill him? Uh, we don't have enough for monstrosity, but he needs another response, and white doesn't work, and he's already used a vampire. Extra card here. Yep. So <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> and we're not going to play that land. No need to. Let's see. He surely can't have another bit of removal. We've seen. Two, all this big removal really has been Angelic Edicts and this protection from white. We've already seen one Bane Fire which would kill the thing. We need to see Ground Assault, any black removal. I mean, there's plenty of removal we could still have. But uh, he needs to find it and he's already used a lot. <laughs> 
So I think his problem is the only, I think he's complaining because he only seen one blue mana. That's a problem with a five color deck. I mean, <laughs> red, green, black, blue, white. Yeah, so he is five color. Is that you're always gonna get mana screwed? You can't. You can't really do much about. It. Well, Arcane Man says that can be able. Two, four, five. He caught Bane Fire. Doesn't it? Does kill my thing. It evens it. Damn it. <laughs> That's sad. Well, that makes me sad. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, he's down to one card in hand now. Sh he's pretty much burned out every single good creature I've drawn. Rabble Master. And that gives me a token. That gets me another counter on. Uh, on the Michael. I mean, not on the Michael, on the Beastmasters. We're up to four now. He's probably just going to block, though. Yep. And we, we actually... If we play on the Michael, we have him dead next turn. If he doesn't have a response. So I'm going I'm to do it. I'm not going to devour anything. I'm just going to play it. Finish. He has to have like another response, <laughs> and he's down one card in hand. Surely he can't have the plane cleanser. Okay, man, center. What's he gonna get? Anger of the gods doesn't do it. Angelic edict on the my cloth. I'd almost be tempted to angelic edict the rapper master though. Yeah, he does because he doesn't want the tokens coming in. Decent player, decent player. Yeah. God's willing kills him right now as well. There's lots of stuff I could draw that kill. Raise the alarm. That if Michael Oth survives, then uh, raise the alarm kills him. Well, raise the alarm kills him anyway now actually. If I do end step when he's tapped out, he probably just jumps down here. Yep. And then these guys then activate the Beastmasters. Cloud shift. It's not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet. Uh, you can chunk me down next turn now unless he attacks in. This is a painful game to play. It's really frustrating all the removal he's found. I've got to hope next turn he's got his last card in hand was Angelic Edict. It depends what your top decks get. I need him to be aggressive and attack it as well. And then uh, Razzy Lamb kills him. So what's his last card say? I swear to god if it's fog. <laughs> and he didn't attack him, that's annoying. Okay. Well, the second Beastmaster has I don't really need to play out. It's pretty irrelevant. So he, he, double, he double blocks me down here. Probably his Cloud Shift again. <laughs> oh, did he get the Cloud Shift back? That's most likely what he did actually get back. I wasn't paying attention. Uh... No, I saw him get the Angelic Edict back. Perfect, we take out the Arcane Advances, they're in his graveyard now. Now, let's see, <laughs> it's got... <laughs> Please don't top deck play in a cleansing. Okay, drew land, and... Oh, this is, this is, this is terrifying. And he's gone, okay. Whew. <laughs> that was a lot of removal we had to deal with. I'm going to count it all up. Uh... Angelic Edict a couple times because he recycled it. Three Anger of the Gods. Yeah, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't a fun game to play. If it is Fog, I'm just gonna uh, retire. <laughs> it's been a good run, but Jesus. That was, that was painful. We got there though, just about. And <laughs> let's, let's carry on this truck. Just keep rolling until I start making mistakes. That's when I know it's time to stop. <laughs> One thing I hope changes in Origins, and I'm not sure if anyone feels the same way, this is probably very controversial, is I hate the menu theme on this game. I thought 2014's was pretty cool, but this one is just terrible. It's really, like, obnoxious. When the bit when it, like, probably starts getting really loud and stuff, I've had to, I've had to scrap videos where... 
Like I don't I don't forget to change my game side down. I just I keep it like twenty. <laughs> when it gets to this obnoxious bit, you just can't hear anything. I can't even hear myself think on the video just because this bit here. I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background. It's just it just kills me. It's so loud and it's, it's not it's not good. That's that's my rant about the music. Gee, it's just terrible. What? I can see now. Right now, I'm getting I'm getting confused over how loud it might be. <laughs> but right, well, I was just about to say I'll pause, but uh, apparently I'm not going to pause because Glenn GM decided to uh, hop in. Good on Glenn, and <laughs> let's see if we can get a faster game this time. Uh, the sun. Visionary cultivate. I'll keep. It's not great, but considering the, uh, I haven't really had a great hand yet. It's it's playable, and that's my laptop fan going off. Sorry, you can hear that. It's decided that I am in fact too hot, and uh, <laughs> it needs to cool down a bit. Uh, is it? I was I was actually really tempted to use is it for this game episode, but I decided I didn't want to be uh, too filthy. <laughs> I didn't want to uh, have <laughs> to. I was going to do is it bird, but I thought no, that that's too disgusting. That I've got a street card. Uh, it's just so crazy. You can you can kill people in like three turns with that deck if they have no response. Young Pyromancer so is a response though. Uh, I think I might just ramp into Storm Breath Dragon. I know I'm a token stack. I'm not really meant to be doing that. It's too good an opportunity to pass down. Uh, Get a second red on the field and then get another white, I believe. Are we, I mean, I don't know. Culvin first means I can cast multiple cards into it. I can go Visionary and Attended Knight after the Storm Breath turn. Krenko's Command would probably be the worst thing to see right now. Or Robin Master. And Ghost Snipe isn't actually great either. I wish I had my own board wipes, but that's stupid in your own token deck. Uh, it's one of the tempting things. It's if you're in any deck with red, no matter the synergy, you're just tempted to throw Anger of the Gods in. Because like right now, Anger of the Gods is would be really good, even on my token deck. Makes no sense, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we scare him off here. We don't want to get too low. That's the thing, though. Because I mean, he, he's doing at least four, but if he's got a couple spells, the Gutter Snipes are going to start going a bit crazy as well. But you know, next turn we get a nice defensive with the Attender Knight, and uh, the Visionary as well can chunk block or something down. I mean, yet yeah, yeah, again, Ravel Master would be an absolute nightmare to see right now. Although Attender Knight is a good blocker for it. You could also get the cheeky Cloud Shift block going up if he decides to swing it. And he is. I mean, you don't want to get too low against a burn deck. <laughs> so, and I don't really have any life gain going on. So I might, I might want to uh, slow down a bit. It was maybe a bit of a reckless attack with the storm breath. Depends what he does here now, though. That's the, that's the real thing. Hopefully, he just passes turn. <laughs> like a skull crack right now does five damage. That's that's crazy. Uh, if I cultivate. I can I can attend a night as well. I can cultivate attend a night. I can vision you. but I think I'll cultivate attend a night. Surely you're not going to get that. Perfect, even better. I don't I don't really need the land. We can still visionary this turn or raise the alarm. Surprise him. I guess he wants the the the, the triggers off this, but uh. I guess he gets this. It wasn't the worst use of Dissolve, but I would have saved it for something there. We can surprise Raise the Alarm and take out the Gutter Snipe, which I think is probably the play. So we are going to attack and try and get a surprise kill on this, this Gutter Snipe. Or we could cloud shift depend on how he how he responds. Like if he goes to burn this thing out with a bane fire, then we then we definitely well we can't cloud shift. Yes, we can cloud shift. 
No, we can't because it's protection from white. I was wondering why it wasn't highlighted, and um, that's why. It's protection from white. So that's a, that's a bad synergy in this deck. <laughs> but uh, Storm Breath doesn't really need to be cloud shifted to God's will. It'd be nice in this situation, but uh, not necessary. Not necessary. I was I was just looking at it. I was like the card's not like shining blue. I was. Is it, is it a glitch? Is it? A... Come on, you fell for it. Could see a negate here, but we do not. That's a double block in the gutter snipe. Even though you could just shock the other one out. But we have to go for it. And there's the biggest threat in the field gone. I'm down to nine though, which isn't great. But we do get decent. We do, we do shore our defenses next turn. Traded a two mana card for a three mana card, and that's that's like a really powerful card in both decks actually. So I think that's a good trade on my half. Next turn we get to attend at night and visionary and keep cloud shift up. So I feel pretty good about that. And now that 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 goodness has just evaporated, <laughs> we could see a lot of, a lot of Krenko commands coming at us. Uh, I think we stick to the original. Can we kill him? Three monstery, seven eleven. It's 11 damage of your monstrosity, the Storm Breath. Which, as good as it is, is not lethal. Uh, is not lethal. Let's, let's look. Okay, so I'm on 4 right now. Monstrosity makes it 7. And then I deal 4 damage. That's 11, yeah. I can't kill him this turn. I don't believe. So, I mean, I might as well cast out this and then next turn go for the monstrosity kill. Tender Knight. Get the tokens. Make sure it taps right. It does. And I think we've managed to be an. Is it? I'm going to call this. Is it? It really is. Is it? Burn. I mean, he hasn't run Killing Fiends yet, but he's, they could be in his deck. But we've got pretty solid defense. We've got a really good attack. I feel pretty good. Uh, not much I can save this guy right now, apart from a couple bounce spells. Maybe a dissolve as well. But he's only got two blue, so he can't do both. I think this game's in the bag. I think it's in the bag. Jalira. I'm trying to figure out what that gels with in his deck. And the answer so far is really not much. <laughs> Everything he's played so far, he could get from Jalira. But none of it is really like deadly. Like it's not like an, an Arbor Colossus. Not an Arbor Colossus. Uh, it's not like I can't monstrosity. I don't know. Yes, I do. I'm lying. I, I'm not lying. I don't have the mana. One, two, three, four, five. I only have six. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> but what could he get from this? Like, am I really scared of it? it I mean, everything. He, he flips over Electro so I'm not exactly terrified. If he flips over, like, a Kozlek or something, then yeah, maybe I'm, I might be worried. But he's dead next turn. I've got plenty of removal for the Kozlek. So I think I'm just gonna. I should have attacked all out, though. That was that was a play. I thought I did miscount my mana. Didn't realize I couldn't monstrosity. So that, that talk about monstrosity before must have been horrible for you guys. <laughs> Me talking about something I couldn't even do. But I look, I look forward to feeling sad in the comments. But seriously, what could he flip over? I don't know why he's running this in his deck. I mean, yeah, he sacrifices out with them tokens, but what's he going to... I'm not even going to lie about how disgusting that is. In the fact that... He flips over a 7 cost creature and everything he's played has been 3 or less. But we can just reprise that so I'm not really too worried. But morally that's, that's ridiculous. I negate of course he does. <laughs> but we still kill him here with the Angelic Edict. That's a, there's no way he planned that. It just happened. <laughs> Everything he's played has been two mana or less. He's got all these creatures along here which do not work at all with it. Because if you're not exactly going to be excited if you flip over a Pyromancer. 
man. <laughs> I, I don't I don't get that. I thought the whole thing was you run as many legendary creatures as you can. And then you just have like a couple non legendary bombs. Like uh what's it called? Dark Seal is it Dark Seal Colossus? Yeah, Dark Seal Colossus. I always get mixed up with Blight Seal Colossus, the infect one. That was that was an interesting game. Stormwrath putting in work that game. Uh, I, was, I was surprised. I think it did all the damage to my opponent. Not 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 that I'm complaining. It's in the deck for a reason because it's it's amazing. All right, here's here's a challenge to anyone. This is this is something. I literally spent about 20 minutes before this game just staring at the deck screen, and uh, I've been I've been trying I think since the, since Elder Elder what's it's the six mana aura card. It's like black, red, blue, I think. It's like plus three, plus three, flying, and when it hits a point, you have to discard two cards. I, I've i spent so much time since that game came out trying to build a deck around that card. <laughs> and Broodmate, Broodmate Dragon, Aura, Aura Person, when I, whenever you put an Aura on a creature, on, on this creature, I mean, make a 2-2 two -two Dragon flying guy. I'm trying to build a Dragon's deck around them two cards. If anyone can make that work, and I don't mean like just the, like in theory work, I mean actually work, then I please let me know. <laughs> because I've spent so much time trying to get that to work, and uh, I should have kept that th second hand. I should have kept that second hand so much. Well, the draws have been pretty ridiculous, and that was my fault. should have kept the second one. I got greedy. I was too busy talking to you. So if you can get this Elgin Mastery Broodmate Dragon card to work, deck to work, I will, uh, I will be forever in your debt. I will do a week on it. <laughs> because I think that would be hilarious. You know, make like a bunch of dragons and drop a hell kite. Probably just with Count Lash in there somewhere. And then, <laughs> you know, it'd just, be, it'd just be hilarious. But when I tried to build it, I ended up having like 13 6 plus drops. I'd, I completely deserve to lose this game. I, I, I accept that. I kept a bad hand, I knew I kept a bad hand, and I kept a bad mana because I mulliganed a good one, I went down to fall, that was terrible. Should have kept that one, the two tap lands and the tended knight, but uh, that was that was all my fault, and I accept that, <laughs> and hopefully we'll move on better people. I was too busy talking about this Elder Mastery deck, just, I think it'd be hilarious, make a bunch of tokens with that aura guy, and then just drop a hellkite and make like six, six, six dragons with the... The small tokens you've been creating. I don't know, this guy's got not much power on the board, so I might stick around for a while. Because, you know, when we hit two lands, his hand actually kicks off. Obviously, I don't expect to see another land ever again, because I'm terrible at the game, and I don't deserve to see another land. But, you know, there's, there's hope in there somewhere. He's got counter spells up as well, anyway. Yep. One more turn, we'll probably be starting discarding. I think it's funny how one game you can flood out and the next game you can go 10 cards deep and only see one land. I think three of the hands in that mulligan didn't have a single land in. Which is quite crazy, considering uh, my tendency to flood out. But uh, I, I, Like I said, I'm, I'm not surprised I completely deserve to lose this. So this will be a fast game. This will be an example to all you youngsters out there on how not to play magic by mulligan it's half the battle if you keep a good hand you stand a better chance of winning <laughs> uh, no land hey we hit land hey if we f hit a fast land next turn we really kick off because we drop a cultivate we get bane slayer out there and then we just drop all these token generators we top deck our beastmasters ascension and we win the game that's, that's the plan. Worst come to worst, we're not going to be discarding for the next turn at least, because we crank us. It just reduced the clock on me, but uh... I mean, increase the clock on me. What, I don't know, I don't really know the concept behind that. I'm just rambling on now, I'm, I'm upset that <laughs> I'm looking at that hand. Because <laughs> right now, I'd, I would have had a very good chance of dropping a 3-drop. And what you can what can I say I'm filthy uh cultivate. 
You can have negate, but uh, I don't think anyone's mean enough to negate a guy who's this far screwed. Uh, get a white. I don't really know what I need. I bet I need double white. I think I do as well. Jesus Christ, I'm. I've, ah. Oh god. Any any hope I had of winning this game is now gone. <laughs> I am awful at this game, Jesus Christ. Please tell me that's a white sauce. Nope, it's a girl girl get. I'm terrible. I could have played a band slayer this turn. Oh, he, and on the bright side, he's just gone as well. But I, can, I literally don't deserve to win this game. I've played terrible this game. And it's only like six turns in. I've only dropped like two lands. <laughs> Why didn't I get double white? I wonder what he's going to discard here. Probably he's like, I don't know. Something which he then rescues from Underworld next turn. <laughs> Just drops a black and then brings a shoulder back. I don't know. That would be, that would be sick if he did. Uh, double in season. Why would you leave? <laughs> yes, you've had to discard, but I haven't played a single card yet. Well, we might as well uh, take this turn out, seeing as we're not really close to death. Double in season, the next turn we really get the token gen out. <laughs> it was a horrible play, but uh, getting hit for two a turn is not exactly terrifying me. Why would you leave when I haven't? I literally hadn't. I paid a cultivate and missed like six mana drops. And you're the one. Who, okay. Some people have really a low threshold for. <laughs> I, if anyone was to bounce in that game, would it be me? I played the Dublin season, by the way, first, like last turn, because I get an extra token from this, and that means. Uh, one of them survives at least. It's actually do some. But we've actually managed to recover here. Granted, this guy didn't have anything going on really himself. He's missing black, so uh, that's actually maybe why he left. But I hadn't. I'd missed like three land drops. That's crazy that he left. Uh, you could have a combat trick. I need this rival master. Think twice, main phase, try and find this black mana. But oh uh, wow, I can't believe we managed to actually almost recover from this. He dropped, he <laughs> does have the cause luck. Uh, Angelic Edict here, do we win? I think if we Storm Breath though, he, he, we get more damage through. Because he can't block the rabble, he has to block the rabble master. I, I genuinely am surprised that how I do not deserve this game. After how, how horribly I played. Wow, you went for the double block. I didn't see that coming. Uh, you got me. Still taking like 15 damage right now. If I'm monstrosity, I kill him. <laughs> if he, uh, but unfortunately, has to dis he, d he does have to discard. Uh, I think the easiest way to do it is okay. If you angelic that, we get four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we. Just gonna take out that wall. Probably, the, probably the faster way to do this, like drop the other rabble master. But uh, you know, less triggers, so technically my way is faster. And yeah, I, I didn't deserve that. I played like absolute dog shit. Uh, why? I don't know. I don't understand why he he'd leave. If anyone like when I, when I missed like the third third land drop in a row. That's normally when I'd expect my opponent to bounce. I stuck through and I'm genuinely surprised we managed to, to come back from that. Granted, he had his deck just really didn't seem to do anything. He seemed like a very bomb deck and he kind of didn't draw lands. After after last game, I'm tempted to keep this, but no. Yes. <laughs> At least we've got Rob Master to look forward to. Turn 1 planes. Uh, could mean literally anything. Apparently, it doesn't mean much. Beastmasters as well. Probably he's not going to throw this out there. You could have Angelic Edicts, Solemn Offerings. Until we hit 7 mana. No really need in this deck. Uh, there's a turn 2 Brain Maggot. He's going to eat the Rabble Master. Which means I'm going to have to waste an Angelic Edict on this thing just to get it back. That's sad. Maybe he eats the Beastmasters, I don't know. Personally, first thing I steal. Instantly nick that Rabble Master. If I'm, if I'm on his side. 
And he did. Fair enough. Burn Maggots, it's, it's a sad card. You know, you know what they're going to steal. That would have been really nice if I managed Dublin Season and Beastmasters. But right now, I actually am going to have to Angela like Edict that thing. Just to have something to do. <laughs> I hope, he looks, I hope he equips it up with like a Deviant Glee and, and then an Ethereal Armor and then I'll just reprise it. Well, that's something else I want to kill now. <laughs> Looks like we're playing a Naya Control with an entire handful of tokens. I, I played really bad that game. I'm still traumatized. But I think I've got to put it behind me and uh, try, try and focus on winning this game. Focus on winning this game, I will. Uh, I'm getting hit for three a turn. For, for a while now, anyway. And I'll drop a Dublin season and hopefully repeat last game's fiasco with the whole... Yeah, this game's over, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best, but... Uh, um, I don't have any board wipes, and he's, he's, he's gripped up way too much now. Rob Master might have been able to turn the tide, but... I'm not going to be able to get it back till turn, turn 6, 5, I don't know, turn turn 5. Uh, there's no point dropping the Beastmasters and doing nothing else here. Turn 5, I steal that back. I swing with a 1-1. One, one. Turn 6, I don't know, drop, drop double in the season? But I'm getting hit for 4... Minimum. He drops another creature and draws another card. It's all looking good. I was slow. I was very slow, but uh, it was a keepable hand. I could, I could not. After the fiasco I've been doing before, I couldn't, I couldn't not. And there's another brain maggot, so he probably just eats the double season. There you go, an Angelic Eater. We've got another one. What did he steal? I didn't even pay it. Uh, what did he steal? It was a Beastmasters, yeah. Well, like, that's kind of weird to me. I'm a long way away from getting that. Uh... Well, here comes nothing. Hopefully this is the right burn maggot. If he's got God's Will on. So when we drop a rabbit, if he's got another burn maggot, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> I'd, I'd laugh there, I'd laugh. Mentor, wow, he's, he's like played like only three cards, but he's played <laughs> all of them the same, if that makes sense. Like two Mentors, two Brain Maggots, he's got four Squadron Hawks. I don't know, there's, there's, there's hope in here somewhere that we can somehow bring this game back. <laughs> Down from eight and he's got flying creatures. Okay. Rebel Master. I mean, this keeps his brain maggot back at the least, but uh. I really don't see a way out of this for me. I need to race him. Which. <laughs> which isn't the spot. I need to get, like, Dublin Season, Captain of the Watch, survive until then, and swing it after. That's, that's, my, that's my way out. That's way too slow, considering he could literally just drop anything right now and ruin my day. I need to keep this Ravel Master alive. That's made the Dublin that's made the Dublin season season even more useless with the Ravel Master. Uh, this <laughs> get hit for one in the yeah three, and he knows I can't block five. I have to block though. Two, four, five. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead next turn if I don't block. It was just too, just too slow, just too slow. Uh, at least he has to discard. That gives me <laughs> some level of satisfaction. Uh, let's drop this. I'm trying to think of outs for me right now. There are not many coming in mind. Yeah, I might not even... <laughs> what could I draw? Bainsler? Bainsler is literally the only thing I could draw right now. Uh, 
Two, three, four, five, six. I blocked two though, so I got out of one. I got out of one here. <laughs> Bane Slayer is the only top deck that can save me. And he's drawn so many cards, he's definitely got an answer for it. Yep, yep, yep. Bane Slayer is the only hope. <laughs> one in 46 chance. Here we go. And one one forty six chance and the fact that he's got no more removal in hand. That's that's what I've got going for me right now. Well have to block here. Take Gordon one. Top deck Bane Slayer, follower of the captain of the watch and then win this game. Seems reasonable enough. Uh new no land, okay. Yeah, we're dead. Juju. That was a bit premature from him. Slightly. If I had drawn the bench there, but uh, I'm not going to hold it against him. <laughs> the game is pretty much over. Just kill me fast. Uh, put me out of my misery. And he has done that. Fair, fair, fair play to this guy. He didn't, uh, he didn't stick about. <laughs> and I talk to Fiat. And we'll, we'll have to put that one behind us. Uh, I think... Generally, when I, I think I'll play one more. One more, this will be the last game. And then we'll call it an end. I don't even know how long this is, but it feels like it's been a while. Chris. Come on, Chris, let's, let's have a battle that uh, songwriters will write about for decades after. Uh, yes, yes. He plays first, but I've got Cultivate. I can get Rabamast and Brimad out after the Cultivate. Bit slow, but not bad. Now we can get a Robin Master on turn 3. <laughs> which I'd do before the call of it. If, I mean, I don't know, it's a tough call. Which one do you drop first, Brimaz or Robin Master? Both are pretty powerful cards. Brimaz, damn it! What is with Brimaz kit? <laughs> well, to be fair, what the hell do you get rid of in this hand? <laughs> do you, I mean, do you steal Brimaz? Do you steal Robin Master? Do you steal Cultivate? That's three pretty good targets right there. I'd probably say Brimaz is gone right now. Which is fair enough. No, he took the Ram Master. Interesting. Guess he knows I can't cast the Brimas yet. Unless he plans on following up the <laughs> the Brain Maggot with another Brain Maggot, which honestly, wouldn't I wouldn't even bat an eyelid. I, I wouldn't even bat an eyelid these days. We can now cast Brimas turn three. If he doesn't follow up with another Brain Maggot right now, which let's be, let's be honest, he's he's following up with another Brain Maggot right now. I've accepted it. User probably has accepted it. Brim Maggots come in packs. One for each of you. Uh, <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I'll be highly surprised if he blocks. And he doesn't know I can cast uh, Brim Maggots because he didn't see me draw the planes. And he did not. So we could have ramped into Bane Slayer, but I think getting a Brim Maggots on the field is pretty good. Turn three. He could ground assault it. But he can't tribute to hunger. And that's pretty much his only options right now. Next turn I got God's Willing up. Which means he's really in trouble. Because then I can eat a bit of removal. Chris is not in a good situation right now. Chris is in a better situation now though. Because he can just ramp above me. But we do get a good attack in here. Nice, nice 3, 4, 5 damage coming at him. Yeah again I'd, I'd be very surprised if he blocked. Could also write, I guess, and then uh, trade. Well, he wouldn't trade, he'd actually just kill a guy because of, uh... I'd have zero damage. Come on. But I think that's a whisk I'm... A whisk. <laughs> a whisk I'm willing to take. Uh, so, yeah, again, I doubt he blocks this turn. I'll just play Culver and keep God willing up. He trades, wow. <laughs> I'm fine with that, more ammo. Uh... Gold of it here, we've got double white. We need another red and another green. It doesn't really matter though. Put the red on the field, keep the green in hand. And God's Willing is now up. Well, uh, this guy really doesn't know how to use Ulcer it. He should have. 
He could have saved his brain maggot if that was his plan. Like, he, yeah, he could have saved brain maggots. Minus three attack. But uh, I suppose we have the gods on there, so luckily it didn't cost him too much. Uh, but that was that was. I mean, uh, to be uh, to be brutal. I mean, not to be brutal. To be honest, that uh, that's that's something I've I've felt for my more share of times. N no one really looks at the negative counters and looks at the negative attack. They always look at the negative defense to kill the creature. It's like dead weight. So uh, you don't you don't look at dead weight and go, well, this rabbit master now has zero attack. You look at him and go, well, now this rabbit master is dead. <laughs> Same with Bane today, you don't go, oh, it's only got three attack. If you neg five, are you thinking? Yes, yeah, so I can I can see that guy's... Why that guy fell for that. I mean, I've, I've done it in my fair share of times. But he's in trouble now. Uh, I think I'm just going to round master. I don't really want to throw Bane there up. Into... Well, I mean, I might as well have, to be honest. But Michael Loth is looking pretty good. <laughs> But we just raise the alarm end step here, and then if he does have the anger of the gods, then uh, raise the alarm end step, and then into my cloth of banter. I don't really know why I decided to play the rap master there, because I was just setting myself up for this. But at least Brimo survives. I say with a tear in my eye. <laughs> Brimo doesn't survive. <laughs> oh, I should have tribute first. I not tribute. I should have raised the alarm first. Oh, I saw it too late, I was too busy making a shitty joke, damn it. That's why it's hard to play on camera. Instead of focusing on what to do, you're focusing on talking, just for no reason. Oh, that was that was painful. He's gonna be thinking he's thinking, what the hell is this guy doing with his life? And you know I completely agree with him. Oh, that, was, that was painful. I've, I've completely choked these last couple of games. Oh god. We've seen one tribute to hunger, that's why we're only in one. I should have attacked first. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with me? I should have attacked first, got an extra damage in. I deserve to. Yeah, again, this is another game I deserve to lose. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This this, this, this episode did become a tilt into playing like dog shit. <laughs> I, I made fun of his also. I didn't make fun of her. Questioned is also right play, and then after that everything's just gone to shit. <laughs> I'll just start playing like, I just start playing like I, I need to lose professionally. That's shouldered, which actually isn't too bad. We can just keep sacking out tokens. I think his does his trigger go off first, which is annoying actually. But uh, if I hadn't had that one one, I'd be wouldn't be a happy bunny. <laughs> Thing doesn't have island walk against me. I actually am gonna just offer the trade here. As weird as it sounds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually. I might Genesis Hydra because we can find a Dublin season or something. <laughs> what well, we did? Uh, I think Dublin season is more important than men. Uh, Mento, I didn't have any cards to activate Mento. He does get to bring a creature back every turn now, though. Brain Maggot, but it's... Oh, it's going to eat the Bane Slayer, that's sad. But he, he's kind of forced to block, so it doesn't really matter too much. Hit a land. We've got 10 10 swinging at him, as well as a 6-6. Six six. That's, that's what we call unsusta unsustainable. <laughs> Another Brain Maggot, for, just for Chump Blocker. He can't eat anything. Uh, we ah, oh, I just feel it. I'm, I'm on, I'm on. Well, not tilt, but I'm, I'm playing like absolutely terribly now. I just need to end this game fast and say thank you for watching. <laughs> and eat the one one. No, my luck. I was probably going to click the ten ten by accident. Uh, oh, double season that one now. This game is well and truly. Punched. I'm not going to offer the Michael off now then. Because uh, double season is. A lot more deadly. He's got nothing really scary in the graveyard. He's got no more creatures in there. And uh, making four tokens a turn is more important than trading with a shouldered, which can only sack out my tokens I'm creating. 
and bring back Nook. Well, you get, actually, I guess he brings back the Burn Maggot. Gets to look at my land. So that's actually a pretty cool combo. But, uh, I mean, I might go for an all-out swing next turn. But then we've got enough tokens afterwards to uh, make this guy sad. Another Dublin season. Uh, we tackle all out, we hit him for, he has to block 1 there, so he blocks 10, blocks 6, we get 3 through, which kills him next turn. But I think Dublin season into Dublin season is, uh, I mean Dublin season, this, this way I kill him faster. Because there's no point attacking. There's no point attacking in with the Michael off there because he just gets his brain straight back. And he gets to look at my hand for it. Grizzle bro okay. Yeah, maybe should have attacked him that time. Can't activate the ability. But we make a lot of token. I'm I'm kinda of holding out for a crit hoof. That'd be that would be a nice way to end the episode. But we make a lot of tokens. I think we make eight tokens, is it? Yeah. So let's look at the attack here. We attack him with the 17. No, because he blocks 10, so it's not, it's not even trample. So we attack him with 7. No, he gains life here, so now, now Grizzle Brand's on the field. We can't attack him, unfortunately. unfortunately. Next turn we'll be able to, though, with the 15 tokens. That'll, that'll make it this damage. I mean, I guess he has to do this and draw the seven cards, hope to find anger of the gods. But, uh, even still, he's not exactly in a great situation. Uh, I feel like I'm choking this away, but I couldn't attack in there. I don't kill him. And just leave myself open on the swing back. That's 13 damage just with the shouldered and the, the grizzle brand. He's got a decent chance of drawing that Anger of the Gods, though. But at the same time, he wipes out both Brain Maggots, and then I can tack in for 10 and 6. Do a land. Uh... I'm worried. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Oh, he found it, you son of a... <laughs> yeah, that, fair enough. Fair enough to this guy. Uh, Bane's there, though. Can... That's protection from demons. Have I seriously not been casting Bane's there these last couple turns? No, no, he, he killed his brain maggot. He killed his brain maggot, right? I was, I was uh, just about to absolutely flip my shit, thinking I just had Bane in my hand the last like six turns. Pelico on this life gain. Damn it. Uh, Bane says protection from demons, though. That's a really good draw. And by draw, I mean it's a good card to get back. And what? Why is his trigger going off? That's, well, I guess he gets to choose, doesn't he? That's how it works. Well, it's 10 turns, it's going to get chumped down, so I mean, I might as well spam all the tokens here. Get the bane slayer on the field. You can activate the ability again now though because of the pelican worm. I mean he's got a hell of a chance of beating me now. I I couldn't kill him. I don't I mean if you see a way back then I could have killed this guy. And uh, let me know. I'd love to actually know actually. But uh, right now, I asked for a good game and we've uh We've got a good game going on. <laughs> Flash of Dust on the Bane I'm dead. On the Mycloth. I really thought I'd choose the Bane and then be able to attack him with Grizzlebrand each turn. I mean, I need to draw Crit Hoof. Oh, you, that's, why, that's why I didn't do it. I need to draw Crit Hoof. Crit Hoof for Captain the Watch. Captain the Watch would be nuts. I'd love to draw Captain the Watch. I wouldn't even care if I lost the game. I'd just love to draw Captain the Watch. Angelic Edict, that has to target Shouldered. I can't target Grizzlebrand because he still gets the ability. I can't... All them things I'd love to have Angelic Edicted. But Bainsa is dead this turn anyway, so... With the Arbacostas ability, so I might as well attack him. I think this guy's got me now. I need to draw Crow Hoof to stand any chance of winning. 
I had to target shoulder because every time I kill one of these things, it just comes straight back. I mean, Pelicor only gets to draw a card if I kill it. Grizzlebrand, I'd love to kill that, but uh, I already thought he'd monstrosity. He's probably saving it for next turn. He could monstrosity either. This guy's showing he's a good player, so there we go. He knew what he was doing. Takes out the Bane Slayer. The ultimate Bane Slayer counter in Alba classes. And, uh, this game's not looking good for me. It's really him on the ropes. Down to 11. He's got 9, 7, 7. I've got a bunch of tokens. I stand a chance. If he's got another Anger, which he can definitely hunt for now. He's got 14 cards deep he can hunt for. I think, anyway. Uh, let's have a look. You know, he's used both Anger. Uh, uh, can we survive this turn? Yes, we can. You know, I'm going to attack with the seven tokens. Because we get five damage through, we lose two of them. But then uh, that might be that might be the, the crucial damage here. I mean, he hits me for seven. That goes up to 23. He gets three chances, actually, of finding a card that gets him out of this situation. Damn it. So I'll let him know. Uh, he's, he's, I still think he's got me here though. He's used two angers. If he's got, I don't know, treasure to find him dead. This guy's, a, this guy's played this pretty well. Grizzlebrand. It's, it's one of the very few times I've seen Grizzlebrand resolve actually. Since Shouldred came out. Because why would you run Grizzlebrand when you can run Shouldred? It's really hard to cast. Shouldred's pretty much better. And uh, I mean let's see if he found a way out. Charm Speaker Dead isn't that way out. Have I won? I think I've won. <laughs> he gained 7, so he's back up to 18. I've got 12 2 2s coming out, though. He doesn't have many first strikes, so he can't take the. Yeah, I've got this. I've got this in the bag. The top deck of crew, who's just to make it fun? Damn it, Vision. You know we're going to hunt. We're going to go hunt. I don't care that this this guy needs to be crow hoofed. <laughs> well, Beastmaster works as well. <laughs> yeah, he does need that anger again. <laughs> Not a crow hoof, but the next best thing. That's like, how many counters is on this now? 72. I think that's enough to activate it. <laughs> yeah. No offense, but I don't know why he's blocking here. I guess he just wants to talk. Uh, no, he's not saying anything. But that was that was a really good game. Credit Chris that I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I played like shit. Should have had a Brimaz on the field. And yeah, I mean That was that was a good game. I really, really enjoyed that actually. He played really well, I feel. The Grizzle Brand and stuff. I didn't play terribly. I made a couple of really bad mistakes, but apart from that, I, th I think I, I played alright, and uh, that seems a good point as ever to uh, <laughs> call it in for this deck, and I've got to say I really enjoyed my Naya tokens, as always, I think it it performed better than expected. We had some good games, we had some bad mulligans, we, we got through though, we're all friends at the end of it, we all shook hands, and we uh, all came away happy guys, so I'm not sure when this is going to be uploaded, I'm, I'm hitting, the, hitting the tune <laughs> tonight, so... Uh, I'll probably be mortal if I reply to any comments. <laughs> so look forward to that. If there's any spell mistakes, you know why. And <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.